Well, this is a crazy one. I just could not sleep. It's six, about 6.30 in the morning. Um, got to sleep about 3. and uh, But uh, I've got stuff to do. I've got to head out in, in like two hours to my Kay Taylor session. And uh, so I just wanted to sl slip something in. I had thought about... Um, I. In the wee hours, I, I thought about doing a, a certain thing, and then somebody um, wrote a comment on, uh, I think it was on, might have been on yesterday's post, uh, about uh, a project that I worked on back in 79. And uh, I pulled it up and I went, oh God, this would just be kind of a fun tune just to uh, kind of kick off the en end of the week, going into the weekend. And... Uh, this is something that's been kind of going on for a while, though. We're just having to get used to it. And this is a song called Get Used to It. The artist is Roger Vidoris. And sadly, Roger passed a number of years ago. He was really young when he died. And uh, it was really heartbreaking. But um, Michael O'Mardian, who was a great, great, great producer, ranger, keyboard player, um, produced this. And it was engineered by John Guess. Um, I'm not sure, I, I've been trying to look up who the musicians were on this, and um, I can't find anybody. I th Jeff Picaro may be playing drums on this, but I'm not sure. I don't want to commit to that. Um, but it feels like Jeff, and we were doing so much work at, this, at that time uh, together with Omardian. Um, Michael ended up moving to Nashville, and uh, he's become quite a, a staple <coughs> in the Nashville music scene over the years and uh and john gaz is one of the finest engineers so um, it's always been a treat to be involved with projects with him see it's just so really dark in here it's, it's dark outside right now um i'm gonna in a half hour i'll get the boys up and take them for a walk i have a, a mow and blow service that that comes once a week just to mow the lawns i've had for a long time just because i was always gone so much I didn't want to come home to a lawn that was three feet deep at the end of a tour so I've got these guys and they they show up about 7 15 so I try to get the dogs out and uh, let them run around for a little while before they get here um so I'm going to go ahead and this is really a fun tune it's really kind of defines that period um in the late 70s into the 80s um musically I really and when I heard this, I went, oh, yeah, let's let's do Roger and, and especially pay tribute to a guy who really had kind of hit really good. This was a big hit record. And then um, he ended up doing really well, I think, in Japan. Um, he went over there and and man, they, they took to him this, you know, once in a while, these kind of things show up on like when they have these one hit wonder shows of somebody who had a big hit and then were kind of never heard of again. And Roger kind of fell into that because this was a really a big hit and that never quite had the follow-up. In the same way, when I worked with like Laura Branigan and she had Gloria and, uh, and that was such a massive hit. And then the follow-ups never really quite hit. And then poor Laura, you know, I think she had cancer and, and passed away really young you know, after such a great beginning. So... So, but this is Roger Vidoris, and this is song is called Get Used to It. Let's just get used to it.
so don't tell me all right. You didn't hesitate and told me just how you feel. There ain't no mistake. Roger Fedora. So it was written by Roger and Michael Omardian. And uh, it was really fun when we do those. I mean, we just really such tight arrangements, you know, just groove, but lots of really fun little parts to them. You know, it kind of wasn't just kind of plowing through a song. It had some thoughtfulness went into the arrangement. And that's, uh, Michael was really great at that. Um, we had a great day with Kate Taylor yesterday in the studio. Kate's um, James Taylor's uh, sister, and it was really fun to be sitting in the studio looking at Kate, Peter Asher, uh, uh, <coughs> Russ Kunkel, Danny Korchmar, and myself, and realizing that we had all been sitting just like that on her first album 50 years ago. And uh, got, um, let's see how many, we had five tracks yesterday, and uh, they all turned out really great. Today, um, Wadi Wachtel is replacing Cooch on guitar. And uh, we'll do about four more songs today. And then tomorrow is a guitar extravaganza day. So Danny will be back tomorrow. Wadi will be there. And the great Albert Lee will be in the studio with us. Um, so that that's really great. And then Jeff Allen Ross is playing keyboards and did uh, the arrangements and charts for this. So, And I'm picking him up on the way to work today because his, his car's disabled, and I picked him up yesterday and picking him up today. And it's the first time I've ever had anybody in my truck with me. So we're both masked up real good and uh, in there. It's, uh, it's strange it's been so long since I've had uh, anybody riding in, in my truck. It's, it's uh, so many things that you took for granted. Uh, all of a sudden, you know, you're thinking about differently, looking at differently and stuff. But um, so I'm excited about that. It's really been a nice week of actually being in the studio working on three different album projects this week. And uh, we've got some interviews and things like that to do next week. Next week slows down on that, but I'm going to be really focusing next week on the book and you know, trying to resolve, get the website finished and up and running as soon as possible so we can start taking orders for the book. And um, uh, that's, that's kind of about it. It's cooled off nicely, so it'll be kind of nice if it stays this way. I think it's going to heat up a little bit, but if it stays kind of like this, it'll be a, a nice week next week also for me just to work out in the yard. I mean, I had, like I said, I have this mow and blow service, but that's it. They come through, mow the lawn, they're gone. I, I do all of the, the bedding and uh, stuff and take care of all the kind of grunt work uh, around the house. So I'm going to uh, get myself together here and um, going to uh, um, 
harness up the, the, the goofballs and uh, get them out on a nice little walk. And uh, we'll take it from there. Let me, let me think for one second. Maybe, let me hold on. Give me one moment here. I might just throw something else in here. See if I can. Oh, that isn't working. Hold on. I got my phone leaning into my laptop, and I can't see the. See what's going on here. Hold on. I might just give us one more. Hold on. Oh, this this would be nice. This is a good. This is a great song. I was going to do this at one point. This is um, David Crosby on his album, Cross. I mean, I've worked with David. I met David around 1968 and uh, got involved with those guys uh, in the, the, the very early 70s. I ended up doing, did doing a lot of work with Crosby Nash. I did David's solo stuff and did some CSN and some CSNY uh, with them. But on his Cross album, I ended up just uh, doing, I was gone, I did one track on the album called Find a Heart. And uh, this is really a great song. Let's just have a couple of songs today. Um, this is uh, David, I think Stevie DeStanislaus, Stevie D is playing drums on this. Um, uh, let me think who else was on this. James Raymond, David's son. Um, who's an amazing, amazing singer, keyboard player, arranger, is on this. Uh, Marcus Eaton is playing guitar. His father, Steve Eaton, who I just finished doing another album. We're in the process of doing another album together now, and I've worked with Steve since the 70s. I'm trying to remember. God, this is hard. We did it at Jackson Brown studio. Um, I'm trying to remember if like, maybe Dean Parks was on this. I think it was two guitar players, but I can't remember. I'm just doing this off the top of my head. I'm just grabbing this. Um, but this is Have a Heart. This is really a beautiful arrangement. Um, this is not one I would sit home and, and play to because this chart was really um, pretty involved. But this is actually, um, I think, the first take that we did of this song. So um, check this out.
I don't know who was playing horn on that. I'd have to go dig that one up. That was that was an overdub. It wasn't on the live date. So um, the sun just came out. It mean, didn't come out. It's it's very gray, but I, I can see my backyard now. So, um, so I'm going to get going here. I'm going to go uh, wake up the pups and take them out for a spin around the neighborhood. And then I'm going to uh, get in my truck and hit the highway and, and head off to work. Maybe I'll take some pictures from the studio, um, do a little video from the studio today. I was thinking tomorrow when Wadi and Cooch and Albert Lee are there, it'd be really fun to document that. Three amazing, amazing different players. So, And Kate is just such a sweetheart. It's so much fun working with her. You know, I've known her for, you know, since I've known James Taylor, I've known Kate Taylor. And uh, so have a, have a great day. Um, be safe. You know, take good care of yourself, uh, your family, your friends. Um, be cognizant of this ain't over yet. So, you know, don't do anything silly out there. Register to vote if you haven't. Voting is really important and no more so than this, this up impending election. Um, there's so many things I know, like I'm looking at the ballot and there's so many different things on it beyond, you know, the presidential side of it. There's so many things that, you know, you need to deal with on, you know, that are going to affect your local situations in each state that you're in. So um, take care, take care of the business. That's important. And uh, thank you again to all of the uh, people working so diligently and and selfish selfishlessly. <laughs> That's a handful. Say that ten thousand times fast, or once. Um, <laughs> and uh, thank you all. And I will um, see you tomorrow. And this other thing I was going to work on today um, was really fun. But I'll I'll get to that uh, maybe tomorrow. I'll do it. It's just this Roger Vidoris um, popped up in the uh, comments section, and I went back and checked it out, and I went, oh, that was a fun tune. Let's, let's just do that one today. So I'm going to get running, and I will see you all tomorrow.